In this section 2.7, we are going to use the definition of the derivative to find the derivative of the function and use the power rule to find the derivative of the function. Last section, we look at the derivative as y equals f prime of x or the slope of the tangent line. We call the definition for any given function y equals f of x, the derivative of the function f of x is defined to be a prime of x equals the limit as h approaches zero of the function at x plus h minus the function at x all divided by h, where h is the difference of the two x values or the delta x. If a prime of x exists, or another way, if the two-sided limit of the different quotient exists, then f is said to be differentiable at x. Finding the formula for f prime of x, given f of x is called differentiating, and the process to find the derivative is called differentiation. We can also use the notation f prime of x dy by dx, y prime, or just f prime to denote the derivative of the function f of x. Recall the derivative f prime x is the slope of the tangent line at the point x comma f of x. Let's take a look at the three-step method for finding a derivative of the function f of x. Step number one, we're going to form the different quotient in the form of f at x plus h minus f of x divided by h. And step number two, we simplify the different quotient algebraically. Factoring is one of the common skills that we use for this step. The last step, we're going to calculate the two-sided limit or the limit as h approaches zero of this different quotient that we form in the step number one, if it exists. For an example, we're going to use the definition of the derivative or the three-step method to find the derivative of a prime of x for the function f of x equals x squared. Step number one, we're going to form the different quotient. Step number one, we're going to need the f at x, which is x squared. We're going to need f at x plus h which is x plus h quantity square. Simplify the power two here, which is x plus h times x plus h. Use the FOIA technique. We have x square plus two times x h plus h square. The different quotient f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h is the quantity x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus x squared as the numerator of this different quotient and all divided by h. In step number two, we are going to simplify. So take away the grouping symbol. We have x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus x squared all divided by h. We can see that x squared minus x squared can be canceled. And then the expression now becomes 2x h plus h squared. And we see the common factor h and h over there. Factor the h out. We have h times 2x plus h all divided by h. Then we can reduce the h and h factor from the numerator and denominator. After simplify completely, we will have the expression for the different quotient as 2x plus h. And after that, we are going to take the last step, which means we are going to find the limit, the two-sided limit of this different quotient. So the limit h approaches 0 of the different quotient x plus h minus f of x, all divided by h is the same as the limit of the simplified expression that we got from step number two, as h approaches zero. 
the 2x plus h is the polynomial function. So we just replace the h value as the way that we find the function value for the polynomial function. Now we get 2 times x plus 0. Result is t 2x, which is the derivative of the function or the f prime of x.